Today we are on Black Ops 6 and I'm going to be showing you how to set up bots on Private Match so you can practice your trick shots. It's a little bit different compared to how we used to do it back in the day on Black Ops 2. Back then we used to have Capture the Flag but as you can see we don't have Capture the Flag in Private Match. So instead you have to go over here and select Headquarters. And I'm just going to run you through all of my game settings and show you how to set this up. So first up we need to go into the Game tab. We need to put the time limit on 45 minutes. Normally you would put this on unlimited but that isn't an option. Then we need to put the score limit on 1000. Once again we would normally put that on unlimited but we can't do that. So we have to pull it on 1000. If you're in this game trying to hit your trick shots for a long period of time the game might end but you can just start the game again it's not that big of a deal. And then match start time 5 seconds just to get in the game a little bit quicker. My little TikTok brain is coming in. Next up is in the advanced tab. Now we need to go down to time to capture HQ. Put that on instant. HQ timeout unlimited. HQ lifetime also put that on unlimited. And then the next three you need to put them on off. I mean you guys can like pause the video. Do what you gotta do. Initial HQ activation delay off. HQ activation delay off. HQ selection delay off. Pretty much just off off off. You get the point. And then put the HQ location order on linear. I'm pretty sure this means that the HQ will spawn at the same place every time you start the game. I think that's what that means. And if you select random, I think it will put it in a random location. But yeah, make sure that's on linear. And I don't think you need to change anything else. Next up is in the player tab. Make sure the number of lives is on unlimited. It should already be set to that, but just double check. And then max health, I would put that to 75. I mean, you could put that lower, but the chances of the enemy killing you is a lot faster. So if you put that to about 75, you shouldn't get a hit marker. So yeah, that should be fine. I would leave that on 75. And honestly, that's about it for that tab. You don't have to change anything else. Next up is in the team section. And scroll down to radar always on and make sure that's on constant, just so you know where they are. I mean, you don't have to put that on. It doesn't really matter. And yeah, I think that's about it for that. Next up, we have the gameplay. So you want to scroll down to field upgrade charge rate and select that to 10 times. This is just so you can get your tack to spawn in a lot quicker. If not, you'll have to run across the map every single time you want to go for an attempt. So yeah, make sure this is set to 10 times. I would also disable kill streaks. Once again, you don't have to do this, but if the enemy gets a kill streak on you, it could make it a lot more difficult to trick shot. So I just turn that off. And yeah, that's about it for that one. I think that's all the settings. So with the map, I haven't actually tried many of these maps. I've just been doing skyline because it's the best map for trick shot it's got the best location for the headquarters it's got a great suey spot i would just recommend practicing on skyline it's the best map so now we need to add some bots and all you need to do is head over to team 2 select add bots amount 11 make sure that i'm recruit if not you're gonna get bullied i just realized my face cam is in the way so you probably can't see what i'm doing i mean you guys probably know how to add bots it's very easy i don't need to move my face cam and yeah we are now ready to start the game. So I'm just going to do that. I, I don't know why I need to tell you that I'm starting the game. You guys can see what I'm doing. But yeah, I would definitely recommend doing Skyline. It's the best map. I've tried a few of the others and they haven't been that great. But yeah, here we go. We have now spawned in. The bots just captured the headquarters. So I am now set the trick shot. I'm going to put my tack right there. So the bots quite often just chill down in this area. Round there, round there. You can sort of just chill and go for some trick shots. All right, let's try. Yeah, I'd be happy if I hit that. That'd be nice. By the way, there's a little bit of a spawn delay sometimes. I don't know why it happens, but I do want to mention it can be kind of tricky to get kill cam. So the way to get kill cam is to do your trick shot, hit the guy just like that, and then change team and then end the game. So don't end the game straight away. If not, you won't get kill cam. This is because in the settings, you can't actually select final kill cam. It's player the game. It's, it's really stupid. But yeah, as you can see, I just got best play which is still final kill cam kind of but yeah that is how you do get final kill cam if that makes any sense if you don't change team the game will just end and you won't get play of the game 
Why am I emoting? So you also want to be careful that the enemies don't kill you because if they get like a headshot or something, it might give them play of the game. It's so dumb. So pretty much just try your best not to die. But if you get like a headshot or a long shot, maybe you'll get best play. But yeah, pretty much just don't let the bots kill you because they might end up getting best play. Okay, I should have hit that right there. It's so stupid because if the bots get like a headshot on you and you hit a trick shot but get a body shot, the bots will most likely get play of the game. It's so stupid. But yeah, I think I have explained everything that I need to. If I missed anything out, I'll leave it in the description or as a pinned comment. I, I, I literally just hit market a shot right there. I was literally saying earlier how you're not going to get a hit marker, and I literally just got a hit marker. I don't believe it. All right, maybe we should move the health down. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have got a hit marker right there. This was definitely a lot easier to do back in the day on Black Ops 2. The capture the flag game mode was just so OP. All right, him right there. It's happening. Oh, I hit market again. Okay, that's so dumb. Okay, I, I guess we're gonna have to turn the health down. I thought 75 would be plenty. But yeah, I guess we're gonna have to turn the health down. Maybe like 50%, I don't know. I can't believe I said that you're not gonna get a hit marker and I literally have just gotten two hit markers. It's so dumb. Okay, that would have been a barrel, but like this combo is so nice. This is a combo that I want to hit online. So I've just been practicing, trying to get it down. And this is just like what this is perfect for. Just practicing your trick shots, you know? I guess you could practice your combos with no bots, but that doesn't make it fun. If I hit the shot, I want to like watch it in final kill cam, you know what I mean? Deploying tack insert. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was a little bit of a barrel, but we're going to change team. Wait, what? It's, it's not letting me change team. This is so weird. How do I change team? It's not letting me change team. I, I've never had this bug before. It says I'm on both teams. That's so weird. All right, let me just end the game. Hopefully, I get kill cam. Private match is buggy every single year. There's always so many bugs. But yeah, hopefully, I got kill cam. Did I get kill cam? Yes. There we go. I got kill cam. So... Let's see what my trick shot looked like in kill cam. Yeah, pretty nice. A little bit barrel, but I'd be happy if I hit that online. By the way, I forgot to mention this in the video, but if you guys have hit any trick shots or sniping clips, make sure you join my Discord. The link is in the description. I really want to do like a massive top plays. I think it'd be a ton of fun. I don't care if your trick shot is online, private match, the campaign, zombies, I don't know. But make sure you join the Discord and submit your clips. I, I really want to do this massive top plays. I think it'd be a ton of fun. I also plan on hosting like six man lobbies with you guys. I think that'd be a ton of fun. Or even if you guys are trying to get your own six man. I'm sure you guys could all join and game together. I'm just trying to build a little community over there in the Discord. But yeah, I think I can stop yapping. Join the Discord.